SEC fans, here we are with leg three of what I call the honors and, and the game of the week awards and such. All right, first off, recapping the games itself. South Carolina went into Missouri and won, surprisingly. Uh, I'm, I'm just... I guess I'm still focused on last year's Missouri team. B.J. Mack led the scoring for South Carolina with 21 points. Vanderbilt, unfortunately, has taken a step back this year. Ole Miss has taken multiple step forwards, a 69-56 victory. Tennessee in a super hard-fought game. Georgia's had a lot of transfer portals come in, and they have really stepped up their game. Tennessee did pull away late, not enough to cover the spread, but they did pull away at the late Dalton Neck had 36 points in the road victory for the Vols. Auburn had a ginormous lead against LSU. LSU went on a 23-5 run before Auburn secured the victory with a 15-pointer, 93-78 over LSU. Arkansas, another team that's taken multiple steps backwards this week or this year, Went to Florida, and Florida just laid the smack down on them. A 90-68 victory for the Gators to get them in the win column for the SEC. Alabama on the road showed how you can win in a tough environment on the road. This was a huge road win for, for Alabama. Uh, they went to Mississippi State. It was very close. Alabama had a one-point lead late. And Mississippi State couldn't make anything from free throws to jump shots, nothing at the end. And Alabama was away, able to pull away at the end, 82-74. They're one of two unbeaten remaining. And then that leads us to our first honor, the team of the week. And if you saw this game, golly. I mean, like I said in my, my video yesterday, two worlds collide, rise of nations. So Kentucky likes to kick it out and run and make quick opportunities and just take advantage of all situations. Texas A&M is going to brings a is a fight. They want to keep you in the phone phone booth and just see how you can duke it out. Where every rebound you are scrapping for and just clawing for it, you can't be weak. You have to be tough to beat Texas A&M. And even if you don't beat Texas A&M, that's not saying you're not tough. Just you have to know what you're going into. So Texas A&M got an overtime victory in a Kentucky scoring fest of a game where, honestly, it was a mesh of both styles of play. It was the high-scoring running gun of Kentucky, yet the physicalness and we're going to fight you for every loose ball and every rebound – and we're going to get a little bit physical Texas A&M style. So 97-92 Texas A&M. They are my team of the game of leg three. Congratulations, Aggie Giggum. That leads to our player of the honors. And our player of leg three honors goes to, uh, yes, you figured it, Wade Taylor from that same said game. 31 points, six rebounds, five assists, and two steals for, for him to get Texas A&M into their first win of the, the SEC play. All right, rounding up the other honors of the top 10 best performances from the weekend as well. On top of this, uh, Dalton Neck of Tennessee mentioned him and his and how well he did. Also uh, notables, Matthew Morell and Alan Flanagan and for Ole Miss. Uh, go back to Texas A&M. And we got Tyrese Radford, I forgot to mention. He gets credit. And Auburn, Chad baker Mazzara had a career game, at least at the D1 Power 5 level. Florida gets three representatives, Zion Pullen, Riley Kugel, and Tyrese Samuel. And then rounding out our top 10 of performances of leg three, Jonas Adu of Tennessee and Zagai Ziegler of Tennessee. All right, folks, there's my week three honors and team of the weekend. What are your thoughts as well? We'll be again, more realistically on Thursday. Games are on Tuesday and Wednesday cycles. 
So depending on how late these games go on Wednesday night, I'll either post on Thursday or ridiculously late on Wednesday night. Hit the like, hit the follow back, share, and give me comments. Thanks for watching.